Welcome back to PSC Stack Byte. Today we keep on talking about extending resources in Azure Active Directory using Microsoft Graph. And I want to introduce you to the Open Schema Extension Extensibility Model. This is a model based on untyped properties that you can apply to resources stored in Azure Active Directory by defining an Open Schema Extension providing a name, which should be the reverse DNS name of your company, followed by a unique ID or name, which would be identifying for your set of extensions. When you do that, you can create, update or delete those extensions onto a target resource. And you need to keep into account that you cannot filter based on those extensions. You will also need proper permissions in order to be able to update or create the extensions on a target resource. Just to give an idea, the Open Scheme extensions can be used to extend groups, users, calendar events, group calendar events, and stuff like that. So all of the resources that, generally speaking, might require you to have additional settings in your custom developed solutions to run your custom logic. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to play with this functionality in action. So, here we are in Postman again, as like as we did in the previous episode about extending resources in Azure Active Directory. And I want to show you how you can use the Open Schema extensions to extend a user object. That's why I'm going to make a POST HTTP request using the Microsoft Graph version 1.0 endpoint, targeting the user's endpoint and my specific user. And I want to access the extensions property of my target user. By doing that, I can make a POST and in the body provide the JSON of an object, which will declare the fact that I'm creating a new open extension. I will provide a name for my extension, which, as I said, will be the reverse DNS name of my company, followed by the uh, actual name of the group of settings that I want to create. And then I can provide, I can specify all of my settings as a list of name and value uh, items. So like uh, a simple list of dictionary of properties. As you can see, all of these properties are untyped and are just simply uh, strings. So here we are, let's execute this request. And by doing that, we will get back the confirmation that we created our open scheme extension for the user. Now, if I go to read these extensions, I can say, let's do a get HTTP get. I will not need any content in the body, but I will still target the extension for my target user. So let's try to do that. And as you can see, we can retrieve the value of all of these same extensions, or eventually I can target the specific one I'm looking for. I can also remove a specific scheme extension by ID. So I can do a delete HTTP request targeting the graph endpoint for my users slash extensions slash the ID of the extension that I want to remove. And if I will do that, I will clean up my user so that if I make another request for the extensions, the value will be empty. So as I said, you can create you can update and maintain your open scheme extensions. You can remove them when you want to get rid of them. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.